Morning Prayer for Monday the 29th of August. This week during morning prayer I'll be using the liturgy from the Northumbria community. Within that there's a reading from the New Testament and a short meditation which will be followed by a period of silence. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Do you seek him with all your heart? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your soul? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your mind? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your strength? Amen. Christ, have mercy. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. And we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The New Testament reading for this morning is from Hebrews chapter 13, verses 18 until the end. Pray for us. We are sure that we have a clear conscience, desiring to act honourably in all things. I urge you all the more to do this, so that I may be restored to you very soon. Now may the God of peace, who brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, make you complete in everything good, so that you may do his will, working amongst us, that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory for ever and ever. Amen. I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, bear with my word of exhortation, for I have written to you briefly. I want you to know that our brother Timothy has been set free, and if he comes in time, he will be with me when I see you. Greet all your leaders and all the saints. Those from Italy send you greetings. Grace be with all of you. The meditation for today from the Northumbria community is entitled Lady Poverty in the Eyes of Juniper, Friend of Francis, Fool of God. If I am truly poor, then I am dependent on others for everything, and I feel useless and worthless, and I realise deep within that everything is a gift from the Father. Then in this attitude of complete dependence, I become useful again, for then I am empty of selfishness, and I am free to be God's instrument instead of my own. In poverty, I begin to value everything rightly again, I see how little really matters, and I see that only that which glorifies God is of value. I write these words in pain, Lady Poverty, for I have wept bitter tears because I was poor and had to beg from others, and I felt like a burden to people and to God, and I have grown weary of Christ's words not to worry about tomorrow. But in his grace I have surrendered to God's sovereignty and providence, and it has made me free. Lady Poverty, I love you. You, my lady, take all the sting from being poor. In your embrace I am rich indeed, for I have someone to love. I have you. Perhaps, my lady, that is why I keep submitting, surrendering my desire to control my life my need to provide for the future. You have stolen my heart and made me happy, and your love makes up for all the pain that loving you involves. 
and we know it is all worthwhile because when we look into your eyes, we see Christ himself. We'll take a minute's silence just to reflect on those, those readings. We continue with a time of intercession. That this day may be holy, good and joyful. We pray to you, O Lord, that we may offer to you our worship and our work. We pray to you, O Lord, that we may strive for the well-being of all creation. We pray to you, O Lord, that in the pleasures and pains of life, we may know the love of Christ and be thankful. We pray to you, O Lord, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in communion with all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We pray to you, O Lord. Let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Amen. We say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So this day may the peace of the Lord Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. And may he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.